Coming up, a welterweight match. Victor the Viking Montfort brings his kicking game to battle Marouane Tutu, a fighter with a wealth of experience and a high fight IQ. We go to the welterweight division, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting out of the blue corner from Spain, Victor Montfort! Also known as the Viking, Victor Montfort says he can adapt to any kind of fighter. And as a child, he has a background of karate. So he has very good kicks. He has good tempo. He likes to stay active. He's been following his, his opponent, Tutu, for years, which gives him motivation to be ready and to win. Do you know what, Jules? Can I just interrupt you? These two guys, when I was having breakfast this morning, offered me to come and sit with them. Don't know them, never met them before. But an absolute gentleman to the sport, regardless of who wins or not, Victor Montfort. It, he's got, in my eyes, he's an absolute champion. Real, real nice gesture, and I was extremely touched by it. Well, and here's a point of... What a wonderful Fighting team they the are. The parents, whoever wrote them up, done a very good job, so bless you. Facts. Two, two. Put it one way, I put a status on Facebook about it, and it got 179 likes. Here we go. I'm popular. No, it's not that. <laughs> It's not, it, it, they do very, very nice people. And Maroon Tutu, what can you say? The Tutu train makes his way back. 29 years of age, uh, 63 fights, 55 wins, eight losses and 12 KOs. You know, we, we haven't seen him for a while. I know he's fought on one championship also. Fair play to him. But what a good fighter he is. You know what, we're very blessed. People don't understand that there's a mixture of cultures, there's a mixture of all walks of life, religions, beliefs, Colours, creeds, social standings. But you know what? When it comes together with a sport, they're all lovely, lovely people. I, there is a handful of people that I have not enjoyed spending time with, and that's after 40 years. So there you go. Well said. Thank you. This will be a good fight. The, the, the very, very professional fighters, these two. The man fighting out of the blue corner from Spain, 34 years old, stands in at 184 centimeters. 26 fights on his record, 18 victories, 6 defeats, 2 draws. Five of his winning fights by way of a knockout. The Viking, Victor Montfort! Here's opponent in the red corner from Morocco. 29 years old, stands in at 189 centimeters. 63 fights on his record. 55 victories, 8 defeats. 12 of his winning fights by way of a knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Marwan Tutu! There's a fusion fight in the welterweight division. is scheduled three rounds of three minutes. In case of a draw, we have an extra must-win round. This fight is sponsored by Zeller Gran Service, and the referee is Mr. Mufadel El Hazawi. As they come to the center of the ring, as Vinny said, it's good to have Tutu back in the ring. We haven't seen him for a long time. He was a familiar face that we used to see pretty regularly. Yeah, he's good. A, a real good fight. They're both good fighters, you know. And um... one for making his infu fusion debut. No touch gloves. Strong, hefty punches from Montfort. Means business when he throws shots. Two two though, sharp on his feet, good speedster. Good left hook from two two. South court. Yeah. Yeah. 
thought, yeah, he's looking strong. Oh, good hook around the corner. Good combinations going in from Maroon. Good knee as well. Strong, just looked like an elbow that nearly, wasn't it? Yeah, it kind of really came down. Yeah. He's like a little bit deceiving, isn't he? Like, he's yeah. got a lot of power. Yeah. You don't always see it, but he lands it. He's just one of the, the best kids as well. I mean, Ooh, look how he defended that. Yeah, nice left hook there. You know what I mean? From one foot. So enjoy watching him. Great combination, chopping away at that leg, no blocking coming in, and, and the need to follow. <laughs> It's so nasty, isn't Wolfram it? Really? needs to be blocking that leg. Yeah. He's too, um, too stuck on his feet, Monfort, to kick properly. Especially with the left leg. See how he's so, so, he's, how he's so sort of hefty on his feet, you know? Almost horns, JK. Yeah. Standing right in front of Tutu, he needs to come back with answers, Monfort. I've always, Ooh, I've that always, was a good knee from yeah. Tutu. I've always liked Tutu though, as a person, a fighter. Oh, good push kick to the face, caught though from Tutu. Backing around. Nice body kick. Skips off, uses good footwork, good lateral movement, good eyesight, good power, everything really. They felt that knee. They felt that knee there. He took a deep breath. Yeah. Victor, though, all the time coming forward, strong guy. The end of the first round. Well, first round of the scheduled three. Good first round, corner of Montfort, very calm there in the blue corner. Here's some of the action 2 2. Edging forward, landing the shots in as if, as if he's missed it, he's back in the game. These are powerful shots, good combinations. This is when he was really chopping at that leg, bang, bang, bang. Followed by that knee to the thigh. Really bad intentions behind the shots. Second round. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad intentions, indeed. coming forward, just trying his best, strong puncher. Yeah. Yeah. Lives the game, as they all do, over in um, Benny Dorn, where his gym is. That's what Tutu can stay on, really, that leg. Yeah. There's no signs of blocking from one foot, and like, I just think they can just absorb them, but it's a certain amount of time, and the muscle's just dead. Yeah. Beautiful uppercut over Hook. So tough, Victor, though. He's going to take a shellac in here, Julie, if he doesn't start tr trying. He's walking him down, but he's not got the speed to deal with 2 2. No. It's dangerous to 2 2, though, just shouldering himself in. You know, when you watch these people, when you watch these young fellas, and, and they are to me, of course, you know, and, and you look at them and you just admire them because they're such good people as well. Yeah. You know, they might not lumps out of each other and stuff like that, but they are really nice people. Oh, Beautiful. That knee. Pros and knees so effortlessly, but really spearing. Landing his shots beautifully, too, too. One foot. Trying to march him down. Yeah. Like a surgeon, isn't he? Oh, and again, that left knee. 
One of those lines just perfectly, it's game over. Hard low kick from Mumford. Clinical and just persistent, isn't he? Just his right knee again. Monfort was trying to bring that guard down, lock in his side there. Let's see, but 2 2 goes to the head. He's going all right side, isn't he? 2 2. Just yeah. Monfort starting to feel them, isn't he? Really. Yeah. See it in his face as we come up to the last eight yeah. seconds. Huge right hook around the side from 2 2. Yeah. Victor, though, teeped off really strong, man. Redden. Trying his best. Redden. He's just been, just been out sped, isn't he? Yeah, he is really. No, he's not backing off. No. It's not quick enough to no, do very light. also good friends of Yone Risco. Remember Yone Risco? Yeah, of course. He was our champ. Yeah. Beat Borka on your show, didn't he? Yep, in Abu Dhabi. Oh, that was nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very stylish to finish that round number two off. So shots landing, breaking the guard. You can see the reddening coming up on the body of Montfort there. Yeah. Spear and knees I really am a fan of. Yeah. Like a thudding right hook, isn't it, around yeah. the side? Yeah, it is. It's round three then, and it's a definitive display, isn't it? It's almost like the bull and the matador, really. But two gentlemen of the ring. But one, it's just that step ahead, and that's 2-2. Two, two. The uppercut chopping away at the leg. Still. Love the way Tutu's using his, his distance and he's using the, the long guard just to push Monfort yeah. where he wants him. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hard low kick back from Monfort. It's a beautiful display, isn't it? It is. Monfort used, really brings that right hand down to guard his stomach. Yeah. Tutu can land that left hook. Oh, I got caught there. Nice. It was shot. Making the full count. Ready to go. Is Tutu going to really explode now? Yeah. Tries to force a finish here. Yeah. Monfort is tough. Rock hard, though, Monfort. You've got to give him credit. Get game. was really hurt there as well. Not just by one shot. Ooh, really good hand speed here. Variation. Top that left up clean on the head as well. Follows him with that knee. So, so tough, Mum. Came back with his own bombs. Good left hook. Yeah, really good. Brave. And tough. Yeah. Mum for. Final minute, and I hope he gets to go the distance. See how that right hand of Monfort comes yeah. down. He is open on that left it's side. He's not been getting caught with left hook so as much, Julie. It was the right hands that was that dropped him. But and, and you are hundred percent right. Yeah, you'd see the guard here. You're right. Yeah, yeah it's like two two can throw that. He hasn't left spotted that till later on in this round. Yeah. You know, last thirty seconds or so of this one-sided. Drubbing, but a brave showing from the Spanish fighter, Victor Monfort. Hey, 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 hey. 
nice catch. Be no knockout, and it should, shouldn't really say it being a commentator, but I am happy that Victor goes the distance. Because after today, it just gives you better faith in human nature, you know? There he is. Well, three rounds done and dusted. Good work. It was great to see Tutu back in action. He had a tough opponent against, uh, sorry, Victor Monfort there from Spain. Very tough opponent. He took a lot. He came back with a lot still. So a quick roundup of what we have just witnessed. Round one came out with strong shots. Both fighters were making a good account of themselves, but 2-2 just working the brilliant combinations. I really like the way he uses that left arm just to keep that distance. Push Monfort where he wants him to be. That's how you should throw your shots, as if you're throwing them on a, punch, a moving punch bag. Not waiting for them to come back to, with shots. Love his long spearing knees. Such a nice technique. I forget how much you like to see Tutu actually like. Really enjoy the shots, his footwork. You can see he's smart as well. That was the shot that dropped him. He stepped it up there, that right hook. Threw that so often. Nice work. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, big applause for both uh, athletes, uh, Victor Mumford, Marwan Tutu. Well, I'm the winner of this fight by unanimous decision in favor of the man in the red corner, Marwan Tutu. Tutu takes that win. Victor Monfort should be too disappointed in himself for not taking that win home. He put on a good performance against a very good opponent. That's what we like, good sportsmanship. You know, you know, sometimes you sit and you do that. I've done this sport a very, very long time and I'm, I'm very, very old as well. But you know what? That was one of the most beautiful displays of kickboxing I've seen ever. That was beautiful. It was so on point. That guy is so tough. He's a real tough Spaniard and he's a very nice human being as well. But tonight, young man, you was absolutely on point. How do you feel? Yes, I uh, feel very happy, Alhamdulillah. I won the fight. It was uh, the first time fighting with SB, my new team, and I'm uh, very happy with the performance I did. I could do better, of course, but uh, Alhamdulillah, the win is the most important thing for now. A uh, step from... Uh, a long, long way from uh, the ring. So uh, the first thing now is uh, getting the win, and that uh, we did. Thank you. I, th I think. Look, I, I think that, that whatever your time you've had off has done you good, because tonight, wait till you see it. And I, uh, I've seen a lot of people. You know I have, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was absolutely beautiful. Saeed, the team, SB Jim, they're doing a good job with you. You're a real big threat. There's a lot of people out there who want to fight you. Are you ready for them? Of course. There's a lot of people I want to fight as well. So uh, now back to the gym, training. And I'm very happy with my team, Said, Najim. Thank you very much. Allah uh, come. And now it's uh, back to the ring and uh, to the gym and training and then again in the ring. Whoever wants a piece of this, let's go. Maroon, that's the best I've ever seen you. And I've seen a lot of you. Listen, thank you very, thank you very much. much for the kindness. Listen, massive round of applause 
for a superstar indeed, Mary!